We have a number of students that were selected for our all county, Calvin County uh, honor band. Although they didn't get to perform due to the snow, they did receive the honor of being selected. If you were selected to perform in that ensemble, would you please stand right now? Calvin County Honor Band. Two students that auditioned at the all-state level, and we're very close to making that band. In fact, they, they did make the district honor band, which is a very large district. It goes all the way from the top of the state, all the way down to Sylacauga, over to the Georgia line, all the way over to St. Clair County. So it's a very big ensemble, and they only receive a few people for each band, about two people for each band. And so it's a great honor, and we had two this year, Katie Athan and Abigail Sweeney. Would you please sit down? as the Etowah Youth Symphony's Rookie of the Year. And he has also auditioned and been awarded a scholarship for flute to Auburn University and plans to major in music as well as engineering. She's going to have a double major. And uh, <laughs> that's going to be really interesting. <laughs> take a minute to recognize all those who are involved in the Etowah Youth Symphony. Would those players please stand right now? And one more because this is really important. This is an investment in your, in your child. And would all of my players who are taking private lessons on your instrument please stand at this time? <laughs> I'll mention that Abigail Swinney was able to perform with both the University of Alabama Honor Band and the Auburn University Honor Band. <laughs> Without further ado, our next piece. This is one of the toughest pieces that we've ever performed because playing really slow, really melodic music is the hardest thing that you do. You would think it would be the opposite. Playing really technical things would be the most difficult thing. Playing slow and controlled music is the hardest thing you'll ever do as a musician. And they have done a great job with this piece. It's called Adagio for Winds by Larry Dane. <laughs> 